Hey everyone, welcome to Click Fix Tech. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to fix the D3D11 error message that usually appears while playing Fortnite or other games. I'll show you the complete step-by-step -step process to fix it. So let's get started. First, we'll adjust the virtual memory settings. Open your start menu and type adjust the appearance in the search bar. Now click on adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Once the window opens, Go to the Advanced tab at the top. Under the Virtual Memory section, click Change. First, deselect the option that says Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Then, make sure Custom Size is selected. In the Initial Size, MB, type 1024. Next, in the Maximum Size, MB, you need to enter a number based on how much RAM your computer has. To check your RAM, open Task Manager. Go to the Performance tab and select memory. Here you'll see your total RAM. So if you have eight gigabytes of RAM, multiply 1024 by eight, which equals 8192. If you have 16 gigabytes, it'll be 1024 times 16 is equal to 16,384 and so on. Since I have eight gigabytes of RAM, I'll type 8192 here. Once you've entered both values, click set and then okay to confirm. This step helps your PC manage memory more efficiently and can often fix D3D11 related issues. If you're still seeing the error after that, let's move on to the graphics driver fix. Open the start menu again and type device manager, then click to open it. Inside device manager, look for display adapters and click the little arrow next to it. Now you should see your graphics card listed there. For example, Nvidia, AMD, or Intel. Right-click on your graphics card and select Disable Device, then click Yes to confirm. Wait a few seconds, then right-click on again and choose Enable Device. This will refresh your GPU driver without reinstalling it, which helps fix D3D, 11, or DirectX errors caused by temporary glitches. If you're still having issues, make sure your graphics drivers are fully up-to-date. You can easily update them from the NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel official websites. Just download the latest version and install it. Also, make sure to update DirectTech from the official Microsoft website for best results. Once you've completed all steps, go ahead and restart your computer. After the restart, try launching your game again. The D3D11 error message should now be gone, and your game should run smoothly. And that's it. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Click Fix Tech for more quick and easy tech fixes like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.